I'm MJ, and this is MJ's Tech Talk, the place where I talk tech. And today I'm going to be working on the next phase in my office makeover. Right now I'm going to take apart my monitor so that I can put it on the mount. In order to mount Apple monitor, it takes a special adapter bracket so it can line up with the vessel plates. So I have this bracket. And it's made by Human Centric, and it's a best mounting adapter for Apple. Uh, the contents of the package include the bracket itself, the hardware, a card, and um, the bracket that attaches to the monitor itself. So, if you know about Apple, you know they don't have angle holes that come with most monitors. That's where the mounted bracket comes in. So I'm gonna use a towel just so I have a soft surface to lay my monitor on while I work on it. Pretty heavy. This is the 27 inch Apple Thunderbolt display. The cables out of the way so they're not damaged in this process. And my two holes. And inside the kit there is a little card. And this is what I'm gonna use as my tool to take apart the monitor. So these monitors, the best way to do it is to give yourself some room so that this part can hang over. And it kind of works at a little angle. So I don't want to damage anything during the installation of the mounting plate because I want to use the leg again soon. Possibly. So I just want to make sure it's in good shape. So it's kind of like a feel. It's really hard to describe, but these eight screws are what hold the monsters together. So using this card, goes in and presses on the slot and then exposes the screws. In the normal range of motion of the mount, these screws are invisible. I'm use these little Allen keys. So I definitely don't want to damage them. So I'm gonna need them to mount the bracket. I'm super excited about this mount. So I'm just gonna go from right to left, very carefully not to strip out the heads of the screws. So I've been planning out my office for a while, since before I moved. But now that I'm settled into my new place, I'm pretty ready to, I'm gonna grab a chair. All right, that's a lot better. So I'm super stoked about uh, setting this up. I've already got three screws taken out. Just grab the chair and I'm right back at it. All right, so I'm gonna remove it now gently and it kind of slots out. So those are your eight holes and this is how it would remount if you ever want to mount it back in the future. So there's like a little alignment pin in the center for you to line it back up. And it kind of just hangs out there. Like I'm not really supporting it. Now that I've got the leg off and the plate is exposed, I'm ready to attach this portion. So, so I put the two on the side in. I'm gonna tip it up just to make sure I lock the other ones in pretty good. Be careful with these screws because they are super short. I'm gonna look back over them to make sure they're all pretty snug. I've got the first part mounted and it's in place. So this part goes face down. So the rest of the hardware is containing two big screws, two small screws, four small screws, and four washers. You have the two big ones here and they line up. 
So that means the four smaller ones are from here that line up to the Vespa plate and the washers. So I'll just put this to the side for right now. And there's another Allen key that comes with the kit. Even though I have my own set of Allens, this is just plug and play. I know it fits the screw. And I don't have to be looking for the size. I'm going to give a little bit of tightening on both sides and kind of alternate back and forth. So I know that it's pulling tight and even to the, to the monitor. And this part is the part that you really want to make sure it's secure. So I usually switch over to the little L-shaped side of the Allen key in order to really tug on it. Seems pretty good. Remember, this is 27 inches and it's going to be mounted on this single plate. So you want to make sure it's secure. 